All right. Uh, I know everybody makes videos about wheels, wheel seals, but this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, first of all, um, RevMax seals. It's a new seal on the market. Well, I don't know how new it is. It's the first time I've seen it. Does not require no special tooling like a Stemco. I mean, Stemcos are pretty good seals. Uh, when I worked at multiple dealerships, that was the only seal we used were Stemcos um, because of the uh, collar or, or the sleeve you put over the shoulder so you get a new surface. Um, <clears throat> but this seal right here requires no tools. Uh, and it actually, the box is actually pretty unique because not only does it explain the seal, like right here, it tells you, you know, like you can drive it with any flat surface, but it also gives you a, a, a diagram or a, a template that you can cut out if you're using grease in the bearings, uh, which is great that you don't have to buy another set of tools that you have to have in your truck. Once you're done, you discard the box and get rid of it. Uh, Rev seals, I'm pretty impressed with them so far. Uh, price is not too bad. And right there, no tooling required. <clears throat> but the thing is, um, you know, when I first started in this business a long time ago, the, the, the premium seal were nationals. And then it was uh, Chicago, Chicago, uh, I think Chicago Rawhide, CR. Um, but national was the premium seal now. It came along Stemco and all these other brands. You got Conmet and other brands. But I'm pretty impressed with this one. Uh, Three-year warranty. Uh, if you take the online course or the course that you could probably take at the parts warehouse you buy it at, they will replace the brake shoes if this seal fails also, uh, which segues into another thing. When I worked at the dealer, uh, you know, it was all about the book time. So a lot of times the guys would um, remove the, the duels on the drum and the hub all together as one, pull it forward, pop the seal, put a new one in, uh, break clean the shoes, put it together, down the road she went. Not the right way to do it. I never liked it. I never liked doing wheel seals because it never paid enough. Because if you had to put brake shoes and a drum, you were going to add maybe about, eh, I don't know, what, $1,000 to the bill in parts. And that's because everyone knows, <clears throat> not that everyone does it, is when you do one set, of, when you do a, a shoes on one side, you got to do the other side automatically. You do them in pairs, you know, but I've, to this day, I still see trucks with one real thick shoe on one side and then the other one's real thin. And you can always figure out that it was the uh, wheel seal uh, thing. And then for whatever reason, I never understand this, drums. <clears throat> a lot of people reuse the drums um, they're not that terribly expensive and they reuse them and it's just beyond me why they do it. Uh, you know, if you, it's gotten to the point, especially now with all the things around trucking <clears throat> and brakes, you have to do your utmost. And, uh, you know, if, if I'm putting a pair of shoes, I'm putting a pair of drums. And if I'm not going to put a pair of drums with those shoes, you can get another technician to take the job. And yes, I would lose the hour or two that I already had for installing the seals and the shoes and they'd give it to the other tech. But the thing was, I wasn't going to be involved in the liability of putting just a seal, no shoes or putting a seal and shoes, but not a new drum. I just, I, I just, I'd rather take the hit, lose the hours, let them give it to another technician, which by the way, after you do a couple of those, they just kind of don't give you wheel seals anymore because you're too much by the book um, and they're charging, they're giving you one hour to do it. They're charging the customer four hours to do it and anything you add on, it just starts escalating the bill, get get an ugly, anyway, that's that's a whole new, another subject for another day. Anyway, rest seal, pretty impressive. Um, and oh yeah, let me show you something real quick. This is the re this is one of the main reasons you uh, lose a rear seal is the breather plugs up. This one's an extreme case. Um, it's just it's plugged. I think it's coming out pretty good in the video. But this is one of those things that a lot of guys they rush, they do the seal, they don't replace the shoes, they brake clean them, they reuse the drum, they don't check the breather, and then it's gonna do it again. And my favorite is they never check the oil level, at least. I hate to say it, a lot of the dealerships I worked at, you know, it was all about beating the clock, put a seal, get it going, 
you know, and that was it. Out the door it went. So if you ever have a wheel seal replaced and you don't see oil on your ticket, uh, that's a red flag. But anyway, I mean, always check your breathers. This one is just caked.